Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night SmackDown and AEW Rampage review. Grab your Coca Cola, drink it magnificently, and fire make some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. I hate that I keep having to say Rampage. Honestly, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I can't wait for the day when Rampage is over. Like, I don't know. Well, we're going to have to wait a while for it to be over, I guess. Because apparently it Rampage is the next... But the thing is, it doesn't even feel like a secondary show. It doesn't even feel like they fucking put the same effort as they do for a Dynamite. We're supposed to be telling Cap, well, Giz offers a, you know, a extra time for the rest. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, come on here. Put in some effort at least. At least with Dynamite, it's live, and it's actually, they do seem like they put some effort at least, but fuck, this is just nothing. It's just for a bunch of job. It's literally Velocity. For every Coca-Cola's, Styles Glass, where fuck Tricky my niece is there. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. If anything, I feel like I waste my time watching it. I don't need to watch it. But I just like to have an open mind, as they say. <coughs> so... I missed like the first 10 minutes of SmackDown. I was on my way home. Uh, I'll be honest with you there. Everything SmackDown wasn't really, obviously wasn't really good. Besides like wrestlers you care about, right? But I will say this. So both shows had contract signings. I would obviously go with Smack. Oh, how do you say, uh... Do you have a better contract signing? I thought fucking AEW's too good for, you know, contract signings or wrestling tropes, right? But, I will say this. Freaking SmackDown tonight probably did the best contract signing I've seen in a long time. It was fucking what contract signings should be and how it should be done. Anyway, so, so let's talk about SmackDown. So SmackDown kicked off with a video package of Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. It... I missed the video package, unfortunately. They say that the WWE title and the Universal title will be unified at WrestleMania, which, thank God, thank God, uh, it's going to be unified. I think that if that's, thank, thank you, thank you. So it's not going to be some Becky Lynch type of shit. It's going to be unified. Thank God. And how you make this work, let me tell you how I think they should do this. Whoever wins, I do hope in the future... They bring, they make a new title, hopefully a good title, or, I mean, some people saying they want to see the big gold back. I would love to see it back, but it it only makes sense to bring that title back if you have Edge bring it back, which is what goes to the scenario. Maybe what you should do is hopefully after WrestleMania, Edge wins Money in the Bank and cashes in, and he's the one that dethroned Roman Reigns because I see like Roman Reigns is probably gonna be the one winning this shit. He should be the one that the throne Roman Reigns brings back the big gold. Maybe like what you could do, this whole bullshit, whatever. Whenever he cashes in, he opens the briefcase. You you have that title replaced the both titles, being the big gold, the World Heavyweight Championship, finally recognized as the fucking WWE World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE title finally recognizes that. Then that could lead to maybe in the future, you know, Edge could fucking have some feuds to give us some time and by the time when The Rock versus Roman Reigns have to happen for the title you can have Roman Reigns win the title in some sort of way before Wrestlemania and it will lead to fucking Rock or before the Rumble leading to Rock versus Roman at Wrestlemania 39 since that's apparently the big match but since apparently like Rock is getting more busy will it, we even finally see that match? like that's the fucking thing in all honesty I'm kind of thinking like will that match even happen? So, but I do think I would love to see the big gold back, but would you really want to see Jobbers winning it and have it as a title? I don't know. I mean, I mean, it would be nice to finally see the big gold recognized as the WWE title. It's only been recognized as his own title and shit, you know? But, eh, I don't think, knowing WWE, I don't even think they're going to fucking bring it back. I don't know if they will. They're probably just going to have to fucking keep the fucking black title. They're just going to keep the logo title. You know? Because God forbid, let's have good looking titles. Uh, but yeah, good thing that WWE, thank you for, com you're going to combine the titles. I will love it. Um, so, but then after that, the show lit, uh, kicked, started with the fucking, uh, Ric Flair Jr. and R Ronda Rousey. So, D was shit opening the show. Apparently, it's confirmed that at 
WrestleMania Saturday, because that's what they're calling the show. So they're calling so WrestleMania Sunday will be Brock and versus Roman. But on WrestleMania Saturday or whatever, WrestleMania Night One, apparently it's gonna be Ronda and Charlotte as the main event. Really? I understand that Ronda won the females Royal Rumble. But when if that was the case, why didn't Charlotte when she won that fucking rumble back in the COVID shit? Why didn't she main event? Just saying. You know, honestly, again, a match that actually deserves to be the main event should be the main event. Or something that actually has star power. Listen, this whole... I, listen, I don't mind Ronda Rousey. But come on here. You, to think that she's like some main event, I'm sorry. It's not the main event. It's not main event worthy at all. I think Edge is more worthy of a main event than fucking... Or Edge is actually more a better name. People probably know Edge more than Ronda Rousey. I, I'm willing to bet you. Fucking A. So Charlotte tells Ronda that she will make her scream for mercy and make her tap out of WrestleMania, but then she would go to show the show and she'll go home and work on her second baby. Sonya Daifo comes out and attacks Ronda. Charlotte joins in and then the uh, but then Ronda flips Sonya. Sonya Dyke feels fucking hot. I'm not gonna lie. She's a hot. She's probably the hottest Dyke ever seen. So she's in my my big black couch. I might maybe I'll convert her to you know. Not being les just lesbian. She'll probably be bisexual. She can invite, invite her female friends. We'll have a good time. Here's what I want to fucking say about the whole um, tie unification about of our Rock, Brock and Roman. People say, oh, it's going to end in DQ. Here's the thing. I do think this match should, be, should not be a normal match. Who knows? Maybe they might surprise us. Maybe make, add a stipulation. I do think they should make it like no disqualifications. You know what I mean there? So. But oh, this will only happen if Brock retains that Madison Square Garden. Really? First of all, since they keep piping up that show, wouldn't it make sense? And again, why isn't why you're doing contract signing? Wouldn't it again make sense not have the time defend it? Because again, it just means either means that they're, unless they're gonna do some bullshit like they're literally gonna give someone the title, which wouldn't make any fucking sense in all honesty. And some people say it wouldn't make sense if they combine the titles. Why would it not make sense for them combining the titles? Why? Do you really want to see Jobbers win the titles? And it'll be considered a world champion? Like, why? Or oh, offers more opportunity. That's bullshit. No one deserves the opportunity if they're not even fucking entertaining. And they're not actually fucking world champ material. Why? Sh then that's how the shit. You get guys like Kofi Kingston winning the title. Big E winning the title. All these Jobbers that should not be world champions becoming world champions. Fuck that. And yeah, I do think the match should be like no disqualifications. Like add that, and it'll be a fucking more entertaining match too. You know. Um, and again, I would have loved to see fucking honestly. You might as well have done if you're gonna kind of, like they should end the brand split. I was kind of hoping they would actually do like a triple threat for the women again. Like even though I hate it, like I would not be too mad about it if it means like the end of the fucking women's title. Like I would not be mad. If literally fucking Ronda versus Charlotte versus Becky happened again, but this time they unified the titles. And they were kind of hyping up that way like, at first. But no, we're going to just do Charlotte. They would have Bianca. Like, fuck off. Fuck off with this Bianca. We're going to get... Hopefully they combine the titles eventually. You know? They should combine all the titles. The tag titles. The women's titles. The world titles. There's no real reason I think they should combine the Intercontinental U.S. title. You know, I think they're good to have as a mid cartels for them separate, you know, so it doesn't really matter, bother me. Adam Pierce announces that Sonya Daiko will face Ronda next week. Whatever. Then the Usos talk about, I don't know, Rock and Roman. How, like, oh, it's gonna be the biggest title match. Us and shit, and Viking Raiders attack them. Um. Oh yeah, I think the, before that was like Kofi Kingston and big. It was like fucking the New Day defeating Los Tarios, some fucking I don't know, job tag team. I think it was like Umberto Carrella and Angel, Angel Garza or something. I don't know. Exia Lee defeats Nanny Nightfart. I doubt she's supposed to have character. Her character that she doesn't like vultures, but then fucking we see her just basically she she went from being Mulan. To just, I'm just happy to be here, and I'm gonna fuck, I can't wait to be on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. Ching chong ching. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, 
That's that's apparently what she is. She's just happy to be here. We love me long time. Uh um then Sami Zayn celebrates in the kind of title win. Which is not bad, you know, I'm, ha I'm actually don't mind him being an Intercontinental Champion. Same promise he's going to be a fighting champion. Really? Obviously this would mean like, oh, maybe some cool guy could come out. But no, it's Johnny Knoxville. I really don't care uh, if Johnny Knoxville. He's better than some guy that's going to face Sami Zayn next week, by the way. We'll talk about that. Fucking stuff. At least Johnny Knoxville, I, from what I can tell, he's not gay. But, like, really, this is apparently the big match to happen at WrestleMania. Apparently, that's rumored that, that this is going to be the, half, the match that's going to happen at WrestleMania. I don't really care. <laughs> no, I really don't. Um, John Knoxville says, like, you know, you, you interrupted my uh, my movie celebration. Yeah, I'm going to, might as well interrupt. Yeah, and then same thing attacks uh, John Knoxville. Whatever. Uh, then Ricochet says, uh, you know, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt, but, you know, uh, I don't mind that. I, I, you know, I heard you're open to our challenges. Like, I'm open for something that's bigger than that. You know, I'm, I, I'm open to big dicks up my butthole. So, do, do you get it? Because this guy fingers his own ass. I hate Ricochet. I hated seeing him. I don't want to see this guy on my TV screen ever again. And I'm, I'm surprised that Sami Zayn is bigger than this guy. What a fucking gay midget this guy is. I hate Ricochet. I hate him. I'm surprised that anybody wants to work with that guy after learning what the fuck he does in his personal life. What a fag. I'm, I hope. If you want to make fucking Sami Zayn this legit fucking character. Like, wouldn't, wouldn't he just do justice for fucking... It, for Muslims, if he was to fucking behead the motherfucker or bomb the motherfucker, wouldn't that be a good character? Fucking fuck Ricochet. Seriously. Fuck him. I fucking hate this fag. Fucking A. I hate him. I don't want to see him on my TV screen. Like, seriously. I get disgusted looking at him. I get disgusted. Fuck him. God damn it. Like, this guy is clearly a closet fag. Like, the guy fucking managed to fucking be with some ninja warrior chick. And then you're fucking fingering your own ass at the same time. I bet you this guy takes dicks up the butthole. And he's hoping that Sami Zayn would do it. Because they probably fucking... Ooh, gingers. I like them. Like, he likes Samus. Now he wants fucking Sami Zayn. Drew McIntyre defeats Mad Cat Moss in another rematch. Really? A rematch? Why? Like, what's the point of Matt paper rematches nowadays? Originally, it was supposed to be Baron Corbin. Or, okay, originally it was to be Mad Cat, but then, oh, I want to face Baron Corbin on you, Mad Cat. Because you're, 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 uh, blah, I don't know, they brought up how he got, I didn't mention this, because I really didn't pay much attention to the match, because it's honestly, like, I don't care. Especially, like, that's the feeling. Like, what's the point of caring about matches when they're just going to probably do the match anyways again on a SmackDown, right? They did it. And I missed, like, it did look scary. I'm not going to lie to you. But yeah, fucking McIntyre wins this again. Sasha Banks returns again and defeats Shit Shitsy. Get it? Because she takes shit, so fuck. Not, it's not Shotsy, it's Shitsy. That's the match. Naomi said, I'm going to be, yeah, bitch. I'm my sexy black bitch. Mm -hmm. We got we 19 bad and shit. We beautiful and sexy bitch. Even though we not beautiful and sexy bitch. We gonna win the SmackDown Women Tag Time, bitch. Mm -hmm. With our big weaves and shit. They might as well call themselves the big weaves. Because they wear weaves, for God's sakes. Pat McAfee's gonna have Miss McMahon on this, uh... On his show, which I think that's interesting. So let's hope it's fun. As Lesnar. And the contract signing with Lesnar and Heyman happened. This was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. That was probably one of the best contract signings I've seen in a while. It's not just some boring talk shit. It was badass because it was Lesnar and, Heyman, Lesnar and fucking Reigns. It was fucking badass. Lesnar came out and says, I'm going to beat your ass and his ass and whatever. But I'll get paid for it. 
Um, then fucking Reigns, uh, then fucking Haim says, You're, you're probably not gonna make it to the to ma title match with two titles because you're gonna lose a match to Scrat Cotton. Why, why would you want him to lose the title? Wouldn't it make, be good for Reigns? Like, wouldn't he want two titles? If he wants to run the, the like, again, I, I, again, I, apparently they're trying to make tickets. Like, that's the thing they keep hyping. But it's not even gonna be televised or fucking broadcast. Like, Unless you want to make this intrig- First of all, again, this is stupid because then why to have the contract signing, right? To clarify this is going to be title for title. Um, but whatever. I don't know. In all honesty, they, they, I really hope they don't pull a swerve that- Because that will be just dumb. Because why- What's the point? What are you going to do with the WWE title? What is going to be the match for it? You know? It just makes no sense to have it and lose a title. That's why I really hope it doesn't do some stupid swerve. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Because, like, I don't know. But, like, I do hope they keep the match. Uh, for title, for title. But, yeah, freaking... But then, Roman Reigns, he says, you know, every I own everything, you know? Like, basically going, you know, acting like, oh, he's God mode. Like, I, I own that title, too. You know, it may be your, I own that title. I own this, I own this, I own the, the commentary. I own the fucking... Employees, I own everything, you know, they acknowledge me, you know. It was good, you know, Roman Reigns acting like that, and I even owned the, I even owned the security guard. And I think they did this great. So the security guard wants to go, through, we're planning to attack Lesnar, but Lesnar just destroyed the security guard. Fucking amazing. Amazing. He even said that fucking, I, the only reason I wouldn't beat up YouTube because of the, because I, you know, I'll be stopping myself from beating up the security and shit, but yeah. He fucking, just badass. I'm telling you, just fucking badass. I loved it. I honestly loved that. So, overall, the main event segment was pretty good. We're definitely worth waiting for the show, even though the show just sucked in general. But definitely, fucking great ending. So, great ending segment. But overall, the show was just, dog, just basically dog shit. You know? And definitely one of the best contract signings I've seen in a long time. Definitely, really great segment. Okay, I know we see a lot of contract signings lately, and contract signings has lost it, its purpose, but this is how contract signings could be badass, you know? So, definitely looking for, definitely, it makes you look forward to the match even more. This is why probably, even though we've seen Reigns and Lesnar a bunch of times, but we, I, the thing is, we barely mean, like, for people saying, oh, they're tired, we never even, we only see like four Reigns versus Lesnar matches, okay? And if anything, this is actually interesting, because Reigns is a heel, Brock is a baby face, and then, like, you know, Heyman's with, and then it's actually the best storyline going, you know? So, I'm not really too angry about this whole idea of this match happening at WrestleMania, even though we've seen it even re recently, but, like, there have been some build to make it, to make this match, you know what, this is worthy to happen at WrestleMania, okay? And the fact is, title for title, what they should do definitely to change up the stipulation to add it to make it different, definitely no disqualification would be amazing. And it will stop these fucking people that, oh, probably just enter disqualification. You know, because all these people just think, oh, you know, they crap on disqualifications and shit like that. I get it, but like, really? Oh, but apparently disqualifications matter in AEW. Like, shut up. Overall, I just think they're hypocrites. Overall, that was a good main event segment, but overall, the show was boring and just who the fuck cares. Um, now let's talk about Rampage. Sammy Guevara defeated Andrade to retain his stupid gay title. Whatever. No one cares. I don't know. Just some... Whatever. If anything, shouldn't this match have been like the main event? Because literally, what we saw in the main event was like, what a joke. Uh, QT Marshall sends his students off the hook. He was like, you know, I'm being disrespected. All, 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 all. Like, who the fuck are you, QT Marshall? Like, seriously. Then Hook comes out and takes out the fucking... It, it, it looked fake, but like, it's whatever. You know, I don't mind Hook. They're trying to help this guy. Uh, Warlow defeats Nick Camarado. Remember when Nick Camarado main event in Dynamite one time with Goldust? I was pretty sure tended this guy some big time guy. Even though no one fucking cares what a joke. <laughs> Nick Camarado, ladies and gentlemen. Like, fucking hey, who the fuck cares? Um... Yeah, oh yeah, and they didn't have their entrances. Some, yeah, oh yeah, I think even the first match didn't even have their entrance. Like, I understand this is tape, but like, wow, like, really, you're not gonna have entrance with these guys? Like, whatever, it's just like, who the fuck cares, I guess. 
Then Sean Spears tells Warlow that Powerbomb simply isn't getting over. And they need to get back to basics without power bombing. Huh? I don't even know. I don't care. I don't care. They're gonna do this shit like, you know, oh, he's becoming a babyface, so he's being told that, oh, you can't do power bombs for some reason. Wow, and he's gonna just try to break free. This is, I'm sorry, this is less than, this is, they're trying to apparently try to be like Batista thing, but it's like least interesting. Okay? It, it just won't work. And then Sean Spears, like, hit, you know, okay, he's a chair. Oh, but he's a chairman! Shut up. Uh, then Serena Deeves defeats some bitch named Kayla Sparks in a five minute rookie challenge. And apparently, if the bitch doesn't win, she loses. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. You know, if the bitch survives, she wins. It's, it's some dude's stupid shit. I don't know. Britt Baker and Donna Rosa have a contract signing. I don't care. Because it's basically some shit that you've seen WWE, but apparently, you know, oh, it just felt like a WWE segment, obviously. This is just happening for some dumb reason. A contract signing. You know. Oh, they fought, oh, we fought before, but we're gonna fight now again. Ah, yeah, yeah. Then Rosa attacks Britt Baker for some reason, and then fucking... I don't know, she, she tried to give help, but then, oh, the fucking manly looking bitch, the man bitch, what's her name, Mercedes Martinez, helps Thunder Rosa, because after what happened, and oh, uh, the, one of the, the bitch who looks better than the other bitches gets put through a table, and yeah, was it Jamie Hayter, she looks better than these two. Um, I mean, Britt Baker looks cute too, like, you know, it's just like, ah, oh, I mean, I'm a robot, blah, 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 blah. like, whatever, I don't care, like, it's just like, what's so interesting about this feud? Oh, because this match happened before, it was a like, don't man, ah, who cares? No one cares, apparently that match doesn't matter, because, like, records doesn't matter, apparently, right? <laughs> if it's a lights out match, like, shut up, I hate these matches. And then Orange Cassidy defeats Anthony Bowens. And one spot remains for the face of Rulusu's ladder match. The Hoshin was there, and like, I don't care. Like, I, like I'm supposed to pretend to care about the Hoshin. And apparently, we're supposed to think he's evil. Yeah, I, I really just like. I just fucking just. Don't care about Rampage. I'm sorry. And I, for people who legit think that Rampage is better than, I don't know, like, really because jobbers you like, they do fucking flips and kicks or whatever, and you like these jobbers just wrestling, even though they're not even good matches. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Rampage is gee. Rampage is just jobber fest. God damn. Overall. Both, I mean, uh, I don't know. Overall, both shows were shit, but at least, like, you actually had a better segment. You had actually a segment that people give a fuck. And actually, like, you know, something that actually draws name value. People that are gonna, like, you know, that's a match I would actually see. Oh, I don't, I'd rather see, uh, Hangman Page and Adam Cole than, uh, another Lesnar, uh, range match. Yeah, God forbid, two men with star power and actually have character. Then, yeah, let's watch that. Let's not watch that. Let's watch fucking two boring, gay, schmucky fucking wrestlers who are just gonna fucking have an hour-long fucking gay fucking love fucking rolling around fest where they just do kicks and flips and shit. Yeah. That's wrestling to me, apparently. I would rather see a Hangman Page and uh, Brian Danielson, you know, have a long match and with no finish. Yeah, that's, that's, that, 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 yeah, like, and, yeah, and Hussein has a fat neck beard mongoloid retard. Smart. Oh, you, you like, you like seeing, uh, you like seeing, uh, 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 Hogan and, Hogan and fucking Austin, or, I mean, Hogan and Rock, or, I'm gonna tell you, like, you, uh, Hangman Page and, uh, Kenny Omega is a better match than Hogan and Rock. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I forbid wrestlers with star power and wrestlers who actually look and act like wrestlers and actually do wrestling moves. I don't know. I don't want to fucking go on hating AEW because it's just who cares. 
the only people who are fucking jizzing over revolution are these fucking fucking weird smarky rough pants. Like that's what they are. They're fucking weird. Alright, that's not say people, I'm just keeping real. Drink your coals magnesium, you know, get them gains, make some bitches go, shit oh shit, aspire to do that shit. Cause again if you probably you probably won't if you're an AEW fan. That's why you're happy if fucking rust rustling's on a Saturday, for God's sakes. Alright, that's all say people. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye.